Hello everybody, welcome back to 10 Minute Reviews. I'm Jason, bringing you today's video. This fuzzy one right here is Freya. She's also bringing you today's video. As always guys, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I say it every time, but we're just a small family channel. We just love to talk about books. So any support you guys might want to give us would be greatly appreciated. be absolutely awesome. So, for today, what do I want to talk about? Today I want to talk about a, uh, a new book just came out this month, and it is called Poor Man's Sky. Poor Man's Sky. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember the name of the author, but it'll, it'll be on the, the description of the video. So, Poor Man's Sky, pretty awesome book. It's a new science fiction book. From what I was seeing, it seems to be book two within a, I don't know if I want to call it a world, but a, um, you know, fictional universe the character, the, the author is trying to create. But from what I can tell, it's it's not a, a linear kind of thing. You know, book two is not uh, the same characters from book one sort of thing. So, it's, you could definitely dive right into book two like I just did, or, or this particular book like I just did without feeling like you're missing a thing. What well, few things that, that might kind of quasi sort of a little bit need to to explain, they actually do explain very, very well. So as always, guys, I'm going to talk about four things. I'm going to talk about the world, the characters, the plot, and the writing style. So the world. The world is actually our world. We're looking at Earth-ish, uh, but we're looking into the future. Um, not super, super, super into the future but definitely into the future. We have expanded out into the stars. There's a few things that we we definitely have managed in this book that we couldn't do with today's technology, such as uh, hibernation. Hibernation. So, you know, sending, you know, we, we'll, we'll send, they'll, they'll send a ship on, say, a two-year journey, but they'll have most of the, the, the people on the ship in hibernation, um, which kind of makes sense because it's saving on life support, food, all kinds of stuff. So definitely makes sense there. But outside of that, most almost all the science is very plausible, very real world. This is definitely science fiction with, with, with a real emphasis on science, which is awesome because so many science fiction books do the little hand wavy uh, you know, it's just, you know, might as well just be magic kind of thing. And not this, this book explains almost everything in the terms of, of actual real world modern day science or, or things that we at least understand even if we can't quite do it yet. And it places a heavy, heavy, heavy focus on the dangers of space. So another thing about this world is we, we are slowly getting out into space. We're trying to expand out to the rest of the solar system. And they have what they call the Four Horsemen. The Four Horsemen are trillionaires. They're, they're trillionaires that are, have entered into the space race in various ways. You've got uh, one that basically does uh, space-based mining. Um, that's how he makes most of his money. And another one that is uh, has various industries and is looking to to colonize uh, Mars and so on and so forth. You, they're all businessmen. They're all mega rich businessmen, and they they're they're almost god level. And, and in fact, they're 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 extraplanetary stations, abodes, things along those lines are basically considered independent governments because you're you're not tied to any country you're not tied to any country you're, it's almost like it's almost like uh, um, at sea laws kind of you know which kind of leads into the main character the main character of this book Ramy Vaught Ramy Vaught now Ramy Vaught is a police officer police officer he's a former submariner former diver former lawyer and He's a police officer. Now, the, the primary motivation for this character at the beginning of the book, he is part of a, a competition, basically, to, to, uh, to colonize Mars. The first group that are going to go on this original colony ship, they have multiple positions open. People could bid on it. They could, they could basically, not really audition for it, but they're almost like throw their, throw their hat in a ring. And, you know, of course, it was tens and tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people. And they got culled down pretty quick to just a few thousand. And... Then they have an ongoing uh, competition, basically. It's almost like a, almost a popularity contest in a way. It's, it's uh, um, basically everything's privately funded. These, these contestants, they pretty much live stream and social media. It's about everything they are doing, and they get independent uh, uh, private donations. And we're talking, I mean, what, you know, once it gets big enough, we're talking tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars to, uh, um, you know, in these, these private donations and whoever garners the most 
is the one that will get the, the spot that they are trying for. And there's, there's so many spots. I mean, you've got your, your administrator, which is what Ramey is trying to do. You've got, you know, hydroponics. You've got engineering. You know, there's, you know, every, every spot that they may need, they have a spot for, and there's somebody trying out for it. So Ramey is trying out for it, but he, and he's made it into the, the he made it through the, the heaviest cuts, but he is in, the, in third place. Third place, and pretty far back third place, so he's pretty much guaranteed not to get it. However, one of the horsemen does come to him at one point because we have a one of the other contestants and front runner, a leader, that dies. Dies out in space on the moon, actually, where there is a monastery um, funded by the church. And uh, this, uh, this contestant dies there. So Remy is basically hired by one of the horsemen, the one sponsoring the competition, to try and solve the murder. The, they're pretty sure it was a murder, or find out if it was a murder or not, and to solve it either way. So at least he gets his chance to go into space. And again, this book covers a lot of science and really covers the dangers of space and 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 the isolation of space, and how how reliant you would be on the simplest of technologies and just paying attention. So Remy gets his opportunity, and he goes out to try and solve the murder, and that is the primary thrust of this book, this is the primary plot of the book, is solving the murder. However, there are a few subplots. One of the other horsemen, a Russian businessman that has a mining facility out there, is in the middle of not really a coup, more of a strike slash revolt. It's, it's, it's pretty interesting because this is a very dangerous person. You're almost talking borderline criminal, well, probably not borderline, definitely a very, very dangerous person. And, but in a very dangerous environment and losing you know hundreds of millions of dollars a day during the strike. And it gets very, very political in a way. And along with that, we have other mysteries that keep popping up. Stealth ships, ghost ships, things along those lines. And, and uh, new, new things popping up in orbit and new you know, shell companies popping up that are, appear to be trying to do various things. It's pretty, it's pretty interesting because there's a couple subplots that pop up that do kind of get explained. And they don't apply to this particular book. But you could tell they are setting themselves up for the next book that I think is going to be absolutely fascinating. I guarantee you when the next book comes out, I will be reading it. 100% guaranteed. This book was absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's just, it's incredible. The writing style is just gripping, engaging within, but I wasn't even halfway through the second chapter and I knew that I was absolutely freaking hooked. And then I just flew through the book. Just flew through the book. Usually I have multiple books going on, but this time I just cross-platformed it to everything that I've got. My phone, my tablet, my, my Kindle. And just read it, read it, read it, read it, read it until I finished it. And it's just absolutely phenomenal book. So you guys, after you guys hit the like and subscribe buttons, if you guys like science fiction, you like space-based science fiction, and you like real-world, plausible science fiction, you got to check out Poor Man's Sky. It's an absolutely awesome book. So thank you, everybody, for watching. We will catch you guys next time. Bye now.